that has ever done this. Not because I'm comparing myself to them, but ain't nobody like me. I am. And your problem is you hadn't got to the I am yet. When I left home and said, I don't want to be controlled no more, like I meant that. Like I don't want nothing to control me but me. And so I got to put myself under extreme discipline to make sure I'm free. Find out who you are, what your gift is, what you love. Like eat what you like to eat. Go where you like to go. Like be you. Need motivation? Watch your top 10 of Believe Nation. What's up, it's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have an amazing gift inside you that I want to see explode out onto the world. So let's get your motivation to a 10 and get you believing in you. Grab a snack and chew on today's lessons from a man who went from dropping out of high school and being homeless on the streets of Detroit to being one of the best and most well-known motivational speakers on the planet. He's Eric Thomas, and here's my take on his top 10 rules of success. Volume four. Enjoy. All right, let's kick things off with rule number one, my personal favorite, belief. I am. Oh, I am. I am. Oh, I am, and I am. Yeah, you can clap if you want to. I am. I am. Come on, I am. I am. Come on. I will never search for wealth. I will procure it. For I am. I am an entrepreneur. Shh, listen to me. Listen to me. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. I am wealth. Therefore, I will not search for what I already am. I will not search for what's already inside of me. I am success. I can. I will. I must break all barriers on my way, on my journey to wealth and success. I must break all barriers, not most, not most, all barriers. Everything that's before my mama, my daddy, all barriers, my past. I am, I am the greatest that has ever done this. Not because I'm comparing myself to them, but ain't nobody like me, I am. And your problem is you hadn't got to the I am yet. You hadn't even bought into it. And what I want to do before you leave is buy into it 120%. That's why you follow me. That's why you watch me. Because when I get up and talk, it's 120%. When I talk, you don't feel like he might not believe what he's saying. You don't, you don't listen to me in the morning when you on that treadmill because you think I kind of think I know what I'm talking about. You are 100% clear like, yo, E, E got some confidence. Like, E walking with another spirit. Like, E on something different. What is he on? I woke up one day when America said I can't wear a hat and shoes, and I just had to say, I am. You're trying to get information first. You reading books. You hadn't convinced you that you should be doing this. You haven't convinced you that you need to put the money in so you can get where you're trying to get to. You don't believe that you are. And the very first thing the creator said was, tell him I am. Rule number two, surround yourself with the greats. I gotta take y'all back. Somebody show them real quick, Lion and Gazelle. Rah, right, y'all know I'm on that Lion and Gazelle boy. The Lion is the king of the jungle. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I gotta tell you the truth, right? In actuality, the tiger should be. Yep, the tiger should be the king of the jungle, y'all. And I'm just gonna break down how I got to where I am and how I'm about to get to where I wanna go. So the tiger, E.T., what do you mean by that? Well, do your homework. In terms of pound for pound, imano imano, the tiger is ferocious. The tiger can take out the lion. Now go back and look at the tiger. I'm talking about structurally massive. When you look at a tiger, you don't see nothing but, I'm talking about muscle. That's all you see. I'm talking about muscle. But guess what? Even though a tiger probably could beat a lion one-on-one, -on -one, imano imano, you know what the problem is? The reason why the lion is the king of the jungle is not because he's stronger, but he's, he's the king of the jungle because some call him pie. Watch this, tigers run alone, and even though they're ferocious, they don't run in a pride. They're by themselves, right? And that's some of you right now. You sweet, I'm not gonna lie, you sweet, but you will be your same sweet for the rest of your life because you're by yourself. You are alone, you're not with a pride. And that's the problem with some of you, you're a tiger. You're a tiger all day. We, 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 we not debating how sweet you are. We not debating how skilled you are. We not debating you the one. But the problem is you run alone, right? You do everything by yourself. You do everything alone. And, and, and you're, you, you, you're only as strong as you can be by yourself. Look, I'm on that Voltron boy. I'm on that Voltron boy that when we come together, we can do more together than I can do alone. Ah, oh, it's your boy E.T. Come
I'm all saying, it ain't gonna be easy to do what I'm telling you to do, but you have what it takes to surround yourself with other greats, to get in a community where you're not the best of the best, but to get in a community where other people can stretch you, save you, and support you, right? And lift you up. Rule number three, discipline yourself. And so I was like, yo, E, you gotta discipline yourself. I started looking at Mother Teresa, um, Gandhi, and I was like, yo, bro, Gandhi would go fast from sex, and he was married. He would fast from talking, you know, I just started watching these great people and was like, yo, these people fast and not about fasting. Like, that's not the piece, but they were very disciplined people mm -hmm. and they would not allow their exterior world to dominate or destroy their internal world. I just like, yo, I want to get to a place where I can control me. My family members have grown. I lost an uncle who cirrhosis of the liver. Brilliant man. But just drinking, drinking, drinking. And I was like, yo, I do not want to. My father was a substance abuser for years. I was like, yo, I don't want a life where something else is controlling me. Mm -hmm. You know, like for real, when I left home and said, I don't want to be controlled no more. Like I meant that. Like I don't want nothing to control me but me. And so I got to put myself under extreme discipline to make sure I'm free. So when people see me, you get up at three, you don't drink, you don't smoke. I'm not doing that because I think I'm better than nobody else. Or I think you're going to go to hell because you had a drink. I just want, I want to control, I want freedom. And for me, disciplining myself means more freedom. And the less I, you discipline yourself, people who, uh, and I, I told my son the other day, I was like, yo son, I don't not want you to have fun. I've just seen a history of people who just have fun, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, New Year. Yeah. They're the people who Thursday end up, night, oh, Friday night. Oh man, every night. Yeah. They're the people who end up in their 20s having a great deal of fun, but in their 40s and 50s, they working for somebody, um, um, and I'm not saying nothing wrong with cleaning toilets, but they doing something they don't want to do yeah. for the rest of their life, and they can't retire because yeah. they played so much. Yeah. You know, so for me, I just look at Venus and Serena, Michael Jackson, when he used to, like, five and six just dancing all night. I just think the more man discipline himself, the greater, it don't mean it's going to happen, but the greater the probability that he has this sense of freedom. Rule number four, find your inner drive. What makes Brady want to win a fifth? What makes Jordan- At 39. At 39. What makes Jordan say, okay, I got four. Like, it's not even a new season. He said, we, gonna buy, we got to get the fifth one. What makes Serena get 23 and still going? Like, what makes Venus, who was sick and mm -hmm. should have been gone, and now she's 36 years old, what makes her fight to get to the Australian Open? And I'm telling you, it's, it's not the money, the network. It's not, you know, the vision board. It's, I believe, for those of us who are where we are, it's something within. You know, and, and you can't go buy that. You know, I can't give it to you. Lewis can't. Like, you've got to go within and find that mm -hmm. and pull that stuff out. Rule number five, have wild thoughts. So this is what I want y'all to do tonight. Tonight, I want to go, I want to go somewhere because I told you, you know, like, I don't know if you, maybe because you're a human and you've gotten so accustomed to human that maybe you don't know what you're capable of doing as a human, right? Anybody get a new phone and when you get a new phone, but the iPhone 7, 8, right? The iPhone or you went to the Galaxy. When you get that a uh, Christmas or you get that gadget, when you first open up that gadget, what are you, what are you happy about? What it can do, all the stuff it can do, right? If you like a geek, I'm not a geek, right? But I imagine if you're a geek, you're going through like, I only use the stuff I need. Like I'm not even really interested in the other stuff, right? But the geeks know everything you can do. Listen to me very closely. I believe that some of us have gotten so caught up with school and work, you forgot what you could do as a human. Like for real, you just forgot. Like you so caught up on life and problems, you so caught up on paying bills, you forgot you human. You forgot you the one made up the phone. You made up the TV. You made up cars. You made up flying. Like they're human. We flying. A hundred years ago, if they would have told me I could, like, we could fly to Australia and watch TV. We watching TV, y'all. We watching TV on the way to Australia. This is this is what happens when you have wild thoughts, and that's what I want to talk about tonight. Like wild thoughts. Like wild thoughts. Like like I don't want you to be in school for grades because I told y'all we we passed that. And that's why school is so hard for some of you. That's why life is so hard for some of you, because that's all you're doing is life. You don't have no wild thoughts no more. You don't dream crazy no more. 
you kind of settled into like whatever little life they gave you, whatever paycheck they gave you, whatever they told you to do for 40 hours. Like you locked in on that. And I just want you to do yourself a favor. Maybe the weekend when you're not busy, I just want you to start touching the buttons and see what you're capable of. I want you to get out of the average thinking. Uh, and, and look, I, I, let me, okay, I'm gonna give you a secret. I want you to start having wild thoughts because here's the deal. If you have wild thoughts and they don't work out, you can always go back to average thoughts. There's a whole bunch of people waiting for you when you come back. <laughs> I promise you, they waiting. <laughs> average is gonna be there. So just do me a favor, just start thinking crazy and wild. I want to own multiple homes and multiple cars. And I want to have that nonprofit. And I want to have that profit. And I want to be able to travel the world. I want whatever.